Today we're going to take a quick look at the IIFE, often pronounced IFE, or Immediately Invoked Function Expression. That's a semi-alarming term for something that's actually pretty straightforward. You've probably seen it in the past. You may have even used it without fully understanding what it's doing, or why. Let's fix that. An IFE is written like this. If you save that and test it, you'll note that we don't need to call the function. It just runs. The reason for this is mostly because the JavaScript parser is a little weird. But what it comes down to is that the initial parentheses tell the JavaScript parser, hey, this is a function expression, while the trailing parentheses tell the parser to run that expression. So everything within the parens gets run, which is to say our swarms of bees function. Now, there's an obvious question here, which is, why can't I just write an iffy like this? The answer to the question is because the JavaScript parser doesn't work that way. The function keyword tells it you're assigning a function, not trying to run it. Then it views the trailing parentheses as essentially a totally different line of code. It assumes your function assignment has stopped after the close brace. We'll actually get an error if we remove this 10, because it doesn't know why you're opening and closing parentheses with nothing inside them. There's another obvious question here, which is, why would I want to do this? Well, remember in JS Quick Hits 59, when Black Widow kept escaping prison because she was getting attached to the global namespace? Ifies help us avoid that troublesome situation. Normally in a script, if we declare a variable outside of a function block, that variable gets attached to the global namespace. It becomes available everywhere, and can potentially conflict with variables declared in other script files we might be loading via a script tag in our HTML. In an ify, we can execute all of the code we want without any global variables getting created, unless we want to, which I'll cover in a second. Here's an example of both cases. Save that. We'll run it. As you can see, our rube variable is globally accessible. We can change it within a function, and it changes in the outside world. That's fine, but could be a problem in some cases. By using an ify, we keep our variables contained, thus giving us this error. If we absolutely need to create a global within an ify, hint, you almost definitely don't, here's how to do it. Oh, and we need to comment this out so our script will continue executing. All right, save that. As you can see, our public variable is available, and our private variable is not defined because it only exists within the ify. Ify's aren't as necessary as they used to be. JavaScript bundling using import or require does basically the same thing, keeping variables scoped within their module. Still, it's excellent practice to wrap anything you're sending out to the public in an ify in order to make sure you're not screwing with somebody else's variables. It's just the right thing to do. See you next week.